Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install PyCharm Python code editor on your Android phone and you can use it graphically. So, for that, you need to install Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone without root. Okay, guys. So, I already told you how you can install Ubuntu GUI version on your Android phone in the previous video. So, go and watch that video, then you can install PyCharm on your phone okay so let me log into my Ubuntu so just type Ubuntu and press enter so if you not installed Ubuntu you will not get anything from here so go and watch that video first link in the video description first install Ubuntu then you can install PyCharm on your Android system okay so you can see that let me open my VNC viewer and let me show you this is my Ubuntu operating system which is desktop version so go and install first then you will able to use PyCharm on your system okay so we have in Ubuntu installed already so you need to install some packages and some tools to run PyCharm on your system so first of all let you will need some commands okay so to get the commands open any web browser and type Mahesh technicals then click on search now on the Google page you will see maheshtechnicals.com official website okay so you can see maheshtechnicals.com official website just click on that and now you can see this is my website let me open in desktop mode because I am using landscape <coughs> okay so now you can see here are low so many articles here and here you will find this article which is how to install PyCharm on Android if you not found this article no worries just click on search icon then type PyCharm And now you can see you will got this article now just open this article and in this article i already give you all the details all the commands all the steps one by one how you can install it python pycham on your android system so go to how to install section and you can see i already logged into my ubuntu so if you not you can click here and go to that article and install ubuntu on your termux using my commands okay so first of all before installing pycharm let me check our python version because without python you cannot use pycharm okay so let me check first python version and you can see we have 3.12 it is little bit older version so i am going to install latest version of python first then we can install pycharm so to install python latest version first of all you need to copy this command and download python installer script okay so just paste here and press enter then let me show you ls and you can see python.sh file is downloaded okay so now we are going to give executable permissions okay before run we need to give executable permissions so go here and paste this command and press enter and ls your file is in green color it means we have successfully give executable permissions to that file so copy this command and paste here to run the script okay so after running the script your python latest version will install on your ubuntu system so it will take two to three minutes i'm going to fast forward this video so let me check after installation complete okay so you can see python latest version is successfully installed our system so go and check first so copy this both commands and paste here it will show you python latest version and pip version so you can see python latest version is now 3.40 and also you can see pip version okay so both installed successfully without any problem 
Now time to install PyCharm on our system. So just copy this PyCharm installer script. Then paste here and press enter. Now let me show you. You can see PyCharm.sh file is downloaded. Same. We need to give executable permissions to that file as well. Okay, so now run the script. After running, you can able to install PyCharm on your system. You can see three options, install, uninstall, exit. So we need to install. So just type one and press enter and that's it it will take five to seven minutes according to your internet connection Okay guys, so you can see PyCharm is successfully installed without any error. So just skip this part and type 3 to exit the script. Now open VNC Viewer and let me check application is installed or not. So just search here and type py py and let me check. You can see PyCharm is installed. Just click on that application and you will able to launch that application on your android phone without any error okay so you can see that application is launched successfully just skip the steps and open this and you can see our all options are present and pycham is successfully installed on your system now you can create project you can create python project you can clone from github repository or you can create folders everything you can do so let me create python project here now it will show you this screen just click on that option and click on blue button which is trust okay now you can see that our code editor pycham code editor is opening successfully and it is loading because we are open this ID for the first time that's why it is taking some time okay so if you use regular it will not take too much time okay you can see all the options now present and files are present I have all I have Python script small script I copied from chat GPT I generated from chat GPT to test the code editor so you can see this so let me play let me run this script for testing and you can see in the bottom terminal is open and our code is running without any error because we already have python installed and with that python you can easily use pycharm without any issue so with this way you can easily code python on your android phone using pycharm okay with the gui mode guys okay so you can easily install and you can easily use pycharm on your system without any error okay so with this way you can code python on your android system so if you want to install it first install ubuntu on your system then you can use pycharm on your system okay so with this way you can easily install and use python and pycharm all the guide i provided on my article so let me create desktop shortcut for that just search here pi then right click on it and add to desktop so you don't need to search again and again now you can launch that application from your desktop okay so follow my guide from my website and install python install pycharm on your system without any error but first install ubuntu okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video please share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching